Hi guys, I want to share with you here in this video how to use a tool that most people already got on their computer to be able to do a cutout and to mesh different pictures together to make a great image that you want to use on a blog post instead of googling up. Now if I click down here and I check this out where I just got to googling up greatness in you and I posted a blog post on my blog and when I did the blog post gave me a right here you see is greatness in you now my blog post was yes there is greatness in you and you and as you can see there's a lot of pictures in here on greatness in you there's a nice one there but if you put your cursor over it it'll show you that it's already been placed on greatness in you dot org so if you copy that picture you might have some kind of a legal things that may come against you as far as uh, uh, image imagery and all so let me show you how you can do this without having to do that so what I done is I went to a set it I don't want this whole thing because this picture right here is already been watermarked by worshipmediapro.com but I like to have that man right here in this picture so what I actually do is I'm using a tool called Microsoft Picture It Photo 7.0 and maybe you some of you've already got that on your program if you got Windows Media I mean excuse me Windows Microsoft Windows or XP you may come on there you can check that out but what I want to do here I want to go up here to format and I want to put Wait, first of all, let's do it a little different. What I first want to do is I want to go to, I mean, effects, paint, freehand. All right, then it, it, it'll give me an option here to pick what I want to pick. So I'll pick the biggest portion. It's going to be a red color. And then I'll just take and color with my red options everything that's black. And the reason I'm doing that is I'll show you here in just a minute. Because my, my image here is black. And so I want to make sure that when I get ready to blot out or select my image alright now that I've selected I put all that right there that's black red now and then I go back over here and you can't see this but I hit done and it'll give me that then I go ahead and hit format create a cutout and then if you look at this option over here it says it gives you the option on what kind of creative a cutout how you want to choose your image and what I do is that with edge finder by tracing an area on your own by color selection or with a cookie cutter shape so what I do is I hit with color selection it gives me this dropper here and I go over here and select this color there now once I do that I can go back down here in the corner and it'll say what I do is I create another cutout format cutout by color selection and I want to cut out this area here that's my that's the man I want so once I hit that I can hit next done and I've created that so what I do is I, I click on this portion move him over and I click right click cut cut that out I click on this right click cut 
Got that. It's very simple. Now I've got this man. Now I can hit him like this. And I can <clears throat> make him the size I want him. I've got him. Now what I want to do is, is put put this picture in my created picture. So I want to go over here and I want to hit insert picture from computer. And when it comes up, I can pick choose my picture. Hit open. My picture comes in. Now here's a good part I love about this tool. I do this and make it outline it. Go down here and hit move to the bring to the front. Now I got that here. I can put it I can put him where I want to. Now let's bring him down here a little bit and get him pictured. I can put him here and I put three S's in here just for I can set that picture right here and it won't cover up none of my S's alright now if I click on that then I got that but that's not what I want to stop at I want to I want to click on the outside edge and I want to make this thing just a little bit more manageable as far as size now if I got him laying there like that let me go with him just a little bit more. Just grab the edges of this and you can make it big as you want to or small as you want to. Alright, I got him in there now. Yes, there is greatness in you. Now what I want to do is, let's move him over here in a little bit to the middle. Where I can work with him. Let's move him here to right there. All right, that's that looks good, don't it? But watch this. This is not. This is this is just to be. I can do more with this. I love this tool. All right, now I go right over here to edges, and I put. Uh, uh, soft edges and what this will do is well first you gotta mark what you want I move that hold on let's get that right where I want it centered good and you mark it you gotta outline your what you want first then you go to edges soft edges Alright, once you get the soft edges, you grab this cursor here and you can pull it over and just to soften up your edges just a little bit. Alright, once you get that, you click done. Alright, you think that looks good. Now watch this, you go to edges again. Highlighted edges. You gotta click it. Highlighted edges. And then you want to put that circle around it. Now, is that not gorgeous or what? And then you hit done. Is that not a gorgeous picture or what? I just created that whole picture. Yes, there is greatness in you. Now, if you want this picture, what you want to do is you got to have a tool over here where this moon is. You got to have a capture tool called Gene. And you go. Google up Gene on Google and you can get Gene as a tool and then you can cut this right here out and save this tool, save this image. I could have left it at the black edges. Now you see, you notice I got to come in just a little bit further. And it's going to tell me what size my image is. 
that image is 372 by 153 but that's that's a pretty good image so I'll go ahead and hit capture image and it'll give me that image it'll save that image for me it's saving it it just captured the image and that's the tool that Gene does now it just saved my image here I can name it what I want to name it it'll be a JPEG I put uh, new greatness image and then I hit save and I can even add a, a, a square to it right here if I wanted to and it'll go to new greatness image I'll save it in this new folder on the uh, documents and there you have it I have saved a picture that I just formed I, I made two of them there's greatness in you yes there's greatness in you now that's a this particular image right here is a unique image there's no image out on the web like that nowhere I just created that image yes there is greatness in you and when I put this on my blog this image I have uniqueness as far as my design and it have an question in people's mind when they get if they see that image and they want it and they when they write in something about greatness in you or what not they'll see this image before they'll try to take it they'll realize that that image could be copyrighted and they may not do that so this is James Buckley guys I just want to share with you this tool is called Microsoft picture it I've tried and tried and tried to get this tool myself from the Googling up Microsoft Picture It 7.0 photo and I never could find it. So I just remembered I had a desktop and a laptop and I got my backup CDs from my desktop. When I got these program on my Dell computer desktop, I took that, went back into my backup CDs and I had that. I downloaded it on my laptop and I had that tool. Now I got this tool on both computers and it was it was completely legal I can put it on up to three computers so that's so what's so powerful about this tool hey this is James Buckley I hope this tip has helped you make your own images create your own uniqueness and have your own images online this is James Buckley I'm signing off I'll see you on the next video